Wolfpack TV for the first time in two years, talking with Brian Razor Richkowski, trying to make the quarterback position on this Wisconsin Wolfpack team his own once again. Of course, you were the starting quarterback for the outdoor Wolfpack a couple years back. Bounced around a little bit since then. Milwaukee Bone Crushers spent some time with them. The Rock River Raptors also spent some time down there actually playing against this Wolfpack team. Is it a comfortable feeling being back with this coaching staff now, especially having been with them before? Yeah, I'm familiar with the coaching staff and obviously some of the guys on the team uh, either played against or with uh, and all those outdoor indoor experiences. So that is a comforting feeling as far as knowing some of the guys. Offense is, uh, for the most part, you know, new to me. So that's the one thing I'm really concerned about. I'd rather know what I'm doing out there than make a lot of friends because I know the friends will come. How much has the last two years helped you grow? I mean, even just talking to you right now, you seem a little bit bigger, a little bit more mature, and you always had that kind of Brett Favre tendency about you. We used to talk about it. Of course, you ran in a 26-yard touchdown against the Muskegon Thunder for the Milwaukee Bone Crushers on the last play of the game to give them their only win in their inaugural season. Now, do you feel like you have a better feel for the game and a better understanding after the year with Rock River? Are you comparing him to me because this is my third team in three years? <laughs> perhaps, perhaps, although I don't want to go that far because I think a lot of Wisconsinites wouldn't like you as much. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I feel more comfortable, yeah, because it's so much quicker than outdoor in college and high school. But at the same time, it's still football. I mean, a hitch is going to be run at five yards and a corner out and a post route, but you just got to figure out the guy you're throwing it to and how the coach is calling it and uh, how the defense is going to play it. So. Yeah, I'm comfortable inside, but uh, just trying to get comfortable with the guys in the system. We've had a chance already to talk with Soup Roberts and Mr. Adler, your competition for the quarterback spot. What do you think might give you the advantage over those two guys in the battle for the starting QB position? Uh, I think I'll be fresher. I'm missing conditioning right now. <laughs> Other than that, uh, they're good guys. They seem uh, just as willing to do whatever it takes. So I think uh, it puts us all in a good position in the team. Uh, in a good position to have the best guy to win the job. As far as who's going to win, uh, whoever picks up the system the fastest. I know Shane's been around a long time, so he knows indoor. And uh, whoever performs the best, what practices and scrimmage and whatever opportunities we get. Last question for you, Brian, so we can get you back to that conditioning. So you are in good shape to try and win that quarterback spot. How far do you think this team has come since the very beginning, since you were there right at the start with the Wisconsin Wolfpack? Uh, well, just the whole thing, the, the interviews, the cameras. I know they're really trying to promote this thing and get indoor football out of Madison, get that to be a big deal, and I really respect that. You know, I, I don't. I, I took a chance with Rock River last year, trying to, to hopefully that was something. And we just missed the playoffs. We, you know, lost two out of three to you guys. So I know you guys must have been doing something right. So I f didn't feel uncomfortable coming here at all, and I uh, really enjoying it so far. The, the how serious they are, how organized and prepared, and I think those are all things that I was looking for, and I found them. The Raptors really did find some momentum in the second half of 2009, like you said, almost making the playoffs, and you played a big part in that, along with a few other guys that joined that squad, J.R. Taylor. Now you're back here with the Wisconsin Wolfpack, and we're glad to have you here at these practices. Brian, thanks for joining us again on Wolfpack TV. Sure thing.